On Friday, Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin voted in support of the short-term spending plan, which keeps the funding for Obamacare. She spoke on the Senate floor on Thursday. In video provided by her office, Baldwin said the new health insurance law should not be part of a budget debate. Instead of working together to do what's best for middle-class families, moving health care reform forward, this political game of drama and division insists on shutting down the government unless health care is repealed for millions of Americans. Senator Ron Johnson voted against the spending plan. In an interview with Fox 11, the Republican said he is confident the House will strike a deal to avoid a shutdown next week. Johnson said the House should put together a bill that is almost impossible for Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid to say no to. The Republican said the House should stick to the current spending caps. He also said any budget proposal should get rid of the government's contributions to lawmakers to help them cover the cost of their health insurance and repeal the medical device tax. Republican Congressman Tom Petri is a longtime opponent of the health care law, but stopped short of saying he would insist on defunding it right now. He is more concerned about the government closing. If we go through the expense of shutting it down, we're going to have to go through the expense of starting it up again at some point. And if, that, if people are concerned about budgets and spending, that's a, way, that's a way of wasting money. Congressman Reed Ribble tells Fox 11 he doesn't hear representatives or senators talking about a shutdown. He thinks a short-term deal will be reached over the weekend. Andrew Lacombe, Fox 11 News. If Congress does not reach an agreement by Tuesday, some non-essential government programs would shut down and hundreds of thousands of federal employees, those deemed to be non-essential, would have to stay home.